It's been a while since I've been very critical of a wager, so why not tonight? Welcome to the final wager. Hi, I'm Keith Williams. The wager question, of course, belongs to Allison, who had a huge deficit toward the end of Double Jeopardy. And instead of wagering everything, as I thought she should have, she wagered just 2,000, putting her in this position 9,400, just barely more than half of Matt's total, 17,395. Nothing exciting about this wagering situation. Of course, if Allison misses and wagers an appropriate amount, she's going to finish behind Susan's total, so she's going to get third place anyway, if Susan wagers correctly. So why not just go for everything? Had she gone for everything, she would have had, I don't know why I keep picking the green, 14-8. And because I haven't had a wagering scenario in almost two weeks now, we'll go ahead and break this one down. Allison and Matt. Allison doubles up. 29-6 to cover that. This is such a foreign feeling to me right now, actually. Uh, 12205 If he's wrong with that wager, he's going to be left with uh, something 91, 51, 90. So you'll see why, had Allison gone for everything, she would have been in a much better situation. She can miss Final Jeopardy and still win the game handily. 5190, that's going to leave us with 10, 7, uh, 96.10 is her maximum. Now, of course, Matt has this 5 at the end because he wagered $5 on a daily double, which I think is a great move if you don't know anything about the category in question, and it appeared that he didn't, and that daily double was really weird. All right, anyway, Susan's out of this. She doesn't have more than the difference between Allison and Matt. So now we get into mind games. And if Allison wagers that 96.10 amount, I'm going to switch colors just for the sake of visuals. 96.10. That's going to give her 24, 4, 10. So that means to cover this amount, that's going to be 15, 3, 0, uh, 7,015. If he's wrong with that amount, he's going to be left with, it doesn't really matter at this point, I wouldn't say, but at 83, 10,380, no, yeah, so we'll stay above that. 10,380, God, I hate these numbers, 24, 4,420 max on, and then to cover zero wagers, I haven't used four colors in a long time. Uh, they're separated by, what's that, 600, 2600, 2595. 2595 there, and then double that to be 5190. So that goes there. Of course, Matt could wager to stay above Allison if he wants, or I don't know. This whole exercise was moot, of course, because Matt got it right. Allison also got it right. Susan probably should have had it right, but she just misread the question. But I'm more about process over outcome here and getting in a situation like this for Allison and then maybe showing, I don't know, American uh, pop bands or some pop culture category. Would have put her in great shape to beat our now nine-time champion Matt. Alas, it was not to be. And uh, yeah, I think I've said all I can about that. And Matt goes for double digits tomorrow, pulling him into fourth place all time behind, well, fifth place all time now, I guess, uh, Ken Jennings and Julia and David Madden and Arthur Chu. Will he do it? I hope you'll join me then on the final wager.